most well-known woman on the planet. <laughs> Humanly possible. Her new album, 1989, is available now. Please welcome Taylor Swift. Oh, I just saw the clip. I just saw the, the, the Halloween thing was amazing. I'm so, thank you for uh, coming and doing our show even after the Halloween thing. I legitimately could not believe you did that. It was so well done. It was so well executed, like the same costumes. Thank you. I'll be honest with you. Amazing. I'll be honest with you. Some of those costumes they had me in for the piece. We're a little different. <laughs> a little Stre different. Stretchy material. Stretch, stretchy material. A little material. revealing. Yes. You're, you're welcome, America. <laughs> and Sarah. We, um, we love you here. I've got to tell you, and you are a New Yorker now, and we feel a sense of pride about that. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. We'll try. <laughs> do, do you have enough room in your New York apartment for all these Grammy awards that you have? Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's actually, it's, they're, they're easy to fit. They're quite compact. Uh -huh. They're heavy, but you can just line them up on the mantle. It's really good. That's a good thing about Grammys is they just, just line them up put them anywhere, the really. You just put them there. Oh, that's it's just good. a line up of Grammys. Yeah. <laughs> what about all your other awards? Where do they go? Well, I just, I mean, some of them are in my mom's house. Like, some of them are in Nashville. You just kind of spread them out. It's kind of crazy to actually conceptualize the fact that I get to decorate with awards. But. I kind of like your whole approach to your career, though. Yeah. I mean, you really have, you've done the unthinkable. You started out as a kid, writing your own music, performing, and you've not screwed yourself up. Oh, thank Tell you. Us. It gives us mothers raising daughters hope. Wow. Well, you've, you've done a really good job of kind of maintaining integrity and, and still being fun and fun to watch. I no, really... I'm, a, I'm a hot mess. Oh. <laughs> wow. But what, what I'm curious about is all these things in, in your life. What is a typical day for you when you're not performing and just in New York City being a New Yorker? Well, I've been uh, I've been working a lot because I just had an album come out called 1989. Yep. Yeah. So it's been like. It's been a lot, it's been kind of hectic, so sometimes um, when I have a day off, it's my first day off in three weeks or something, and so I'll just, I'll plan it weeks ahead, like I am not leaving my bed. Right. I'm not leaving it. I'm not even getting up. Like, I'm just going to order food. I'm going to somehow just make the food come right to my bed. Right. How am I going to figure that out? I'm going to come up with some sort of trolley system. That's the great like, thing about New York. You can have food delivered directly at any time. to your bed. I know. Any kind of food. Now, of course, 1989, you uh, wrote this. Um, album and called it 1989 in honor of the year I moved to New York. Isn't that true? Exactly. <laughs> awesome. I got to, I got yes. I just did a quick Wikipedia yeah. search and That's there it was, right. all that information. So well, you know, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we are going to talk about the album and, and you're going to tell us about the two loves of your life. I can't wait to hear that. We'll have more to take a quick in a minute. Stay right here. Still ahead on live, John Hamm. Before I had the shooting, burning pins and needles of diabetic nerve pain, these feet served my country, carried the weight of a family, and walked a daughter down the aisle. But I couldn't bear my diabetic nerve pain any longer, so I talked to my doctor. 
and he prescribed Lyrica. Nerve damage from diabetes causes diabetic nerve pain. Lyrica is FDA approved to treat this pain. Lyrica may cause serious allergic reactions or suicidal thoughts or actions. Tell your doctor right away if you have these new or worsening depression or unusual changes in mood or behavior or swelling, trouble breathing, rash, hives, blisters, muscle pain with fever, tired feeling, or blurry vision. Common side effects are dizziness, sleepiness, weight gain, and swelling of hands, legs, and feet. Don't drink alcohol while taking Lyrica. Don't drive or use machinery until you know how Lyrica affects you. Those who have had a drug or alcohol problem may be more likely to misuse Lyrica. Now I have less diabetic nerve pain, and my biggest reason to walk calls me Grandpa. Ask your doctor about Lyrica. Hair color inspired by Sophia Loren. Legendary brunettes from L'Oreal Excellence. So voluptuous, so warm. The non-drip cream formula protects every strand. Super rich care for super rich color. Excellence Legendary Brunettes by L'Oreal Paris. I want you to show me the way. You have a big influence on your kids. So teach them the life lesson of cooking. Join the Ben's Beginners Movement at UncleBen's.com. When a drunk driver hit me, I didn't know my case was worth twice as much as what the insurance company was offering. But Ashcraft and Jarrell knew. What's your case really worth? Call now and find out. Ashcraft and Jarrell, 800-400-1949 owned and operated Long Fence is celebrating its separate anniversary with a 25% off anniversary savings event. For a limited time, take 25% off all Long Fence products. Whether it's a quality fence to enclose the yard or a custom designed deck or patio for entertaining, call Long Fence now for your free in-home estimate. Our 25% off anniversary savings event won't last long, so call 866-450-LONG or visit us at longfence.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. Are you considering replacing your heating and air conditioning system this winter? Get up to $1,450 back when you purchase a select home comfort system from McCarthy. You could even have that new system for as low as $83 per month with approved credit. Visit McCarthyHomeServices.com. Hey. We're back with Taylor Swift. And um, you, you have two loves in your life. Tell us about the two loves of your life. Um, one is Meredith and one is Olivia and they are cats. <laughs> nice. I kind of love these cats. They look, oh yeah, there they are, I'm still sore. Just um, staring me down from the shoes. Trying to pick out which shoes to wear for the day the cat yeah. is? Yeah, that's the other one. That's are Olivia. Olivia? <laughs> she has a hard time closing her mouth. Is it's that really a special weird. breed of cat? I've that's, never... They're Scottish folds. That's why their ears are kind of like folded over. They look like owls. They're very... So what is... And they're very emotional cats. And I, and I love the name. Where did the names come from? <laughs> um, I named Meredith after Meredith Grey on Grey's Anatomy. Oh. And, because, uh, you know, Dr. Meredith Grey. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I named Olivia after Detective Olivia Benson on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. So. And two pot belly pigs named Michael and Kelly be far behind. I mean, you you can't really rule anything out at this point. <laughs> okay. But are, are you worried that somebody goes, oh, she's a crazy cat lady? No, because I've kind of talked to my friends about it, and before I got the second cat, I was really c kind of canvassing everyone I knew, going, is cats cat lady? Or, you know, two cats is, ca is cats. Uh -huh. And there's more than, more than one. more than one cat. You know? But they're like, no, three cats is a cat lady, two cats is a party. Yeah. I like that I philosophy. still feel like next time you come visit us, you'll have a third cat. I just, what there's if those th two made a baby cat? They, they're, they're girls. They're both girls. Are you sure? And they're spayed. Are you sure? It's a miracle! <laughs> You never know. And cats find a way of introducing new cats to the inclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and, and, de and you turned 25 in December, on December 13th. Oh, you say, you I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't really planned that far out. It's like, it's kind of weird, like, when you're so excited about something. Like, I was so geared up for the album launch and so excited about it. It was two years in the making. Right. And so, in my mind, I'm like, birthdays happen every year. Like, album launches only happen every few years. So, I, I went and did that, and I'm still on this promotion tour. And so, I... It's so far back on my list of priorities that I'm turning 25, no, which is that's a, big that's a big one. It's the quarter it's so, century Isn't mark. it so good if you're so busy actually living your life that you don't even really realize that you have like a birthday coming up? I think that's much more fun. I still feel like you need to have a big party. 
party. I should have we a, big give party. a big party. You're right. We need I should to be on the I invite list because yeah. we are, we are, we're good time Charlies. Yes. Good we time are, Charlies. No, we huh? are, we are, par we are party people. Cool. We could have been party motivators on the bar mitzvah circuit. Seriously. <laughs> you can still do that. I can still that's do that. That's, and that's and not I, a dream that's, that's out of reach. And that's not out of <laughs> the realms of future and employment. I do, and, I, and I do like your philosophy to live your life every day, but don't forget my birthday people. <laughs> Don't forget it. Yeah. And y'all, but what I what I heard about you're you're avid baker too, so you can cook yourself a cake. I could cook myself a cake. I could bake myself any kind of like bevy of cupcakes, cakes, cookies, it would be a whole thing. And my friends like to bake too, so that could be the party. It would just be a baking extravaganza. I kind of like that you have this normal group of girls, you all hang out and bake cupcakes together. It's almost unheard of. It's almost like you're from 19. 50. But here, living here, showing us how to live a better life. Well, I, I think that, like, yes, they are normal, but they're, but they're, they're not really normal. They're like, they're like this, just the same kind of weird as me. You just have to find people who are the exact same kind of strange, yeah. and then it makes things feel normal. I feel like if, I just wish you had been born 25 years before you were born so we could hang out, because I'm... <laughs> We can hang out. So you know there are no rules here. I this know, I know, but, you know. Yeah, like we'd have kids at the same time and we'd take them on play dates. Right. Like yes. I could, yeah, I see but what you're I'll, I can watch you guys. I'll watch you guys. Like, ba like, like, like babysitting. Like babysitting. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, yeah. Chaperone. <laughs> I literally am thinking about what you said about your friends. You gotta get friends that are the same weird. And I'm going, my friends are really weird. Am I really weird like that? I yes. am. Yeah. Oh, boy. And, uh, but you're heading back on tour, 1989 World Tour. And when you go on tour, what do you bring with you? Do you bring your cats? Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I can't take them out of the country, or else you get into like some some kind of gnarly quarantine issues, yeah. which yeah. they would hate. Um, but yeah, I take them everywhere in the U.S. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. This tour is is going to be much more. Um, it's, I mean, it's a world tour, so we're going pretty much everywhere. It's very exciting. Do you think the cats know that you're Taylor Swift? <laughs> No, they definitely don't. <laughs> yeah. I think they know. I think they uh, well, have to know by now. Somebody has told them. Well, there was a point. There was a point where Meredith, um, she was the first cat that I got. Okay. She got. I, I post pictures of her on Instagram and stuff, and she was a really beautiful kitten. Um, so she became named like the year-end top celebrity pet. I think, on some level, she knew because she changed after that. She started. <laughs> <laughs> you came home and she had a cigarette. In her paw. Less, less likely to frolic, more yeah. likely to brood and just yeah. stare at me. Yeah. Like I don't matter. Do you think when you got uh, the second cat, Meredith was like, Psst, you know who our owner is? <laughs> to ever no, watch the other cat is no. just like, da, 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 da. <laughs> like she's just wandering I around, can't like. Hear you. Singing, dancing to the beat of her own drum, walking into walls. The other cat is very different yeah. than the first cat, who's very calculated. <laughs> oh, my God. They say fame changes cats. That's what I heard. Yeah, that's what they say. And, um, you, you, your, your new CD, 1989, it was the year you were born. And But how long did it take for you to make this CD? It took two years to make the album. So two years to make this album. Yeah. Wow. I like to really put... The, I, I like to put time into it because it usually starts out as something very different than the way it ends up. Mm -hmm. um, and what this ended up being was a completely different direction musically than I'd ever gone in before. And I knew I, knew I had to do that. I knew that um, I had to change things up. I had this kind of... I had this feeling like I needed to explore different things, and with this album, I'm so glad that I took the time to do that and land somewhere where I really was proud of the album. Do you dream your lyrics? Yes. You do? Yeah. Oh my God. But, but only, only in a few circumstances. It happened once on a song called All You Had To Do Was Stay, which is on my new album. Uh -huh. um, and you'll hear in the chorus, when you go into the chorus of this song, it, you hear this high-pitched, like, stay! Like, yeah. it's this, like, stabbing screech sound right. and that was a sound that I heard in a dream because I was I was in the dream I was trying to talk to somebody and all that would come out of my voice was that sound and I was embarrassed it was like a social humiliation dream oh. and I was so embarrassed that I woke up 
and I was like haunted by the sound. I was like, why? What? That's the weirdest sound. But it was the word stay, screeching, high pitched. And so the next day I went into the studio and wrote a song and incorporated right. that into the chorus. And, and just like in that, um, in that, um, the Coca Cola commercials, do you really have that, um, that notepad that you write all your lyrics down in? From the commercial, I always I mean, wonder if yeah, that's like, do you have a, a notepad? Usually, like that? I'll go for my phone, um, uh -huh. but sometimes when I'm writing in my journal, I get a lyric idea and so I write it in cool. my journal. It's just if you get an idea, like you know, I've written songs when my phone is dead, yeah, and I'm in an airport and I get a lyric idea and I know I'll forget it if I don't write it down, so I'm just like running to the airport bathroom to write on a paper towel. Oh my like, gosh, I love your process. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. Well, let me tell you what, you're amazing at it, and yeah. please keep doing it. We love it. We enjoy it. And Taylor Swift's new CD, 1989. It's available right now. If you don't have it, you go get it. You will not regret it. We're doing it for the talent of Taylor Swift, everybody. Stay tuned for all of today's show, and later in the program, you can answer live social flashback. Tune in to win Question of the Day. Go to livekellyandmichael.com to see all the details and submit your correct answer. Tune in tomorrow and every day until September 4th for your daily question.